You're watching HTFC TV.
two against we was Beach double against West Beach um, in, inside two weeks, top of the league. Um, <laughs> you know, can't say better than that, can you? I think um, it's just important that we've got the three points, especially yeah. with, with you know the teams playing in the Vars and uh, the teams that are not in the Vars not having a game deep in and, uh, and spooled in. You know, it just keeps the run going, and um, you know, if you told us five games into the season you'd have won four, drawn one against last year's champions, double header against Wiss Beach and Russian Diamonds, mm. you know, I'd have, uh, we'd have snapped your hand. So. And, and you did that today with, with eight players missing? Eight, eight yeah. players missing. But you know, arguably the eight players that were missing, you know, we had uh, three centre backs, a left back. Um, Central midfield player, centre forward, two central midfield players, centre forward, and a, and a right winger. So, um, yet yeah, we arguably had the strongest bench that we've had all season with Jamie Graham and Nick's coming back off the holiday. Yeah. So, um, Ricky did played the first game, he hasn't kicked a ball since July, yet comes in and just looks like he's never been away. Um, and the squad is healthy, you know, we, we've, we've always said that you need a, need a big squad, and we've got um, 21 first team players. Um, and they're all going to be used at some stage in the season. So. Two new boys scored today. Yes. So yeah, you, you got you got you went one up with Stuart Wall scoring within a couple of minutes of the start of the game. Yeah. Um, and then the lad Jacob, uh, what's his name? Jacob Joyce. Jacob Joyce. It's cracking, cracking strike for the for the second goal in the equaliser. But Stuart, we signed last night on loan from Kettering. Um, obviously, with Victor Torres, Stephen Owens, and Mark Cox all out, we had to get a centre half in. Um, so that was high priority. So we we had him on loan just for just just for today. He'll go back um, after today's game. But he done great, you know. One goal, one, one goal. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he he done great. So we're we're grateful for that. Uh, and Jacob, what a player he looks. You know, he's hungry. He was energetic. When we didn't have the boy, worked exceptionally back. hard, yeah. exceptionally hard. And um, he's got great quality. The one thing that um, that Jacob is is a natural goal scorer. And you could tell by the way that he took his goal and then the second chance he had where he got on the half turn and then hit it and the goalkeeper just oh, spilled yeah, it. Yeah. But um, he likes to score and he will he will shoot. Um, so he's a great addition. You know, this it, if you look at our team with the exception of Stuart Easton who, who got to twenty last year, um, we haven't never had a centre forward that you think yeah, yeah. you know what, given a run of games he's gonna score goals and I think given Jake for the run of games he will score goals. How is he? Twenty. Excellent, okay, come from PNS. Come from PNS, we swapped it for Jack Wern. Yeah. You know, the situation with Jack, obviously, um, we set ourselves to high standards and the certain rules and criteria that everyone has to adhere to, Jack didn't, and so therefore we had no future in the club. They were desperate for a centre forward, they didn't have confidence in Jacob, so we swapped the two players. And, you know, Great scenario. Yeah, excellent. Both um, both started really well, got the early goal, put them under a lot of pressure, really worked hard for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then there was a, there was a period when maybe, I don't know, they got a bit complacent. And, and then horrendous home goal, own goal. I mean, you know, who you blame, I don't know. But I mean, it was, and it gave them hope, didn't it? And in the second half, to go 2-1 down so early on must have been difficult to come back from. I didn't think they posed any sort of threat in the first half. They had some good possession, but didn't cause us any problems whatsoever. Tim didn't have to make a save. Yeah. Um, and in games like that, you know, you, you hit it on the head, people get complacent. And um, the two centre backs, um, instead of just clearing their lines, tried to do a silly little chest back to the goalkeeper, it was under hit, goalkeeper come out, centre half was going to clear it, they sort of got in each other's way and, and hit across him. But that's one of, the, one of them things. Um, but they're a good side. You know, yeah. there's going to be there's going to be um, times in the in the game where they they have a lot of possession, and you know, during them times, you just have to make sure that you, you defend properly, which we did for, for most of the game. And, and the second goal was their second goal was brilliant. Quality. Yeah, great, great move inside, great ball out to the, to the wing, that absolute different class ball into the box, great run from centre forward. If you'd scored it, you'd have been what a goal. So to concede, you just have to say, you know what, you know, good goal. Yeah. And and. Um, our goal was our second goal was showed what we're about, you know, mm -hmm. four or five good passes and uh, great for you. So, on oh, the whole, it's good, good, good win. I mean, you know, the, the, I won't say you were gifted the, the three points, but 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 there's a, a very odd handball. Yeah, in the I'm area. not too sure what he was doing. I don't know if he missed time <laughs> to jump. No doubt, Josh might have yeah. a camera and we're having a look back yeah. and see what it was. But uh, yeah, silly, silly. An experienced player as well as Cousins, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, so yeah, an odd one. I'll take that. Yeah, exactly. I'll take that. So, yeah, it was a game where it, it, 
it looked as if one goal was going to win it. It could have gone either way. You know, I thought the Wisby deserved some credit. You know, they got some good players in their team, and I thought they, they played they played their part in a very competitive game. And um, thankfully, it went our way. I thought the players did well to wind the clock down the way they did as well, because you know they could have panicked to that point. Um, yeah, we got some good experienced players, yeah. young. Very experienced, you know. I know he's missing Pat today, but Mickey Hyam, for, for someone of his age, is he's got bundles of experience. Yeah. He knows how to win games. He just told me he loved playing long, alongside Ricky D. <laughs> it was, I think, <laughs> if you speak to me, Ricky D would, would have been one of the reasons that he signed for the club. Yeah. And now to have him back is, is great, do you know what I mean? And yeah. um, he's just hoping that he enjoyed it enough to want to commit yeah. for the whole season because um, he's certainly a good player. But um, you know, it's, it's coming together. I, I said that we have we've got the players to compete whether we can do it consistently and how quickly it takes the team to gel and you know it, we're doing it consistently and it's the team is gel quickly so um, my two concerns at the minute are, are not you know they're not concerns if, if that makes sense and um, I'm really happy you know it's a, it's a good dressing room the players are happy and excellent. FA, quick word on the FA Cup next week because that's a big game because it's there's three grand in the bank for that mm. one if you win that one and then you know you can go on and uh, and draw against get a draw against a, a conference north or south club or whatever and uh, not sure if the conference yeah, national come in. Yeah, conference north and south. So Just, it's Houston yeah. step two. Yeah. I mean exactly. I mean yeah, you imagine, could get imagine Stockport. Exactly. You know, Histon. I mean Histon would be a great one yeah. locally. But I think there's too many people at the minute looking towards that. Game. I think we're yeah. already there. I've you know, just done it. Yeah. Sleaford um Sleaford won at the Hull Beach today. It's Hull Beach with the exception of us beating the Moran beaten this season in the league and Seaford have turned them over 2-0. Um, they've got half a million pounds sent them forward in their team who they who you know Lincoln paid half a million pounds for. They're no mucks. Yeah. They're, you know this UCL division from top to bottom there are no easy games and with an extra three thousand pound you know up for grabs there that it's gonna be a tough place to go. And uh, if we're not at our best then we won't win, it's as simple as that. So um, anyone that thinks that we're into the next round is, is uh, just needs to wind the neck a little bit <laughs> and uh, make sure they're focused on getting through this one first. And you know, if we can, the money will be great, and, and you know, we we'll look forward to the next round. But we won't be taking anything for granted. Cheers, mate. Thank you. No, thank you.